What is going on, mortals? Mortals here. Ah, and we're back. And today, we're going to be talking about the new tech structures and other stuff that is going to come to Xbox and PS4, hopefully, very soon. So, as you can see, we got some information here, and I'm going to show you some pictures. Well, the pictures I can get on, some of them aren't actually the best, but, yeah, it's all I can do. So, the first one is going to be the tech cloning chamber and this is what it's kind of going to look like you can't really get the scale for it but this thing is absolutely huge it is absolutely huge I'm pretty sure it's bigger than the tech replicator we well, gotta think about it it's gotta be huge so it can fit like the biggest dino in and the biggest dino is like the Titanosaurus. So, if you can fit that in, it's got to be absolutely huge. So, yeah, that is the first one. We've got some information here. Well, let's just read it. Spend element charge to duplicate your creatures. Craft in the tech replicator and powered by the tech generator. You can speed up the cloning process on your unofficial servers using the baby mature speed mule, uh, multiplier. So, uh, what it means by unofficial servers, so single player, non-dedicated and dedicated servers, if you know the server host, uh, they can change the speed of how fast you can clone your dinos. Really, really cool. Um, I think this is going to cost a lot to make, and it spends element shards to clone your creatures, and I do believe it takes an absolute huge amount of element shards to do like a really really good creature so just be aware of that but the next thing we're going to move on to is the tech uh, megalodon saddle so here we go here it is it actually looks really really cool I really like it yeah that's all I can say I really like it it looks really cool information here press control to equip the gun while running the megalodon and fire with the left click while element is in the megalodon's inventory so this is going to be slightly different for xbox and ps4 as you know we've already had the tech saddles for some of the creatures and we have to press the uh, right thumbstick in which will equip the guns and then we just press the triggers to fire the lasers obviously that will not change you must know the ingram in order to use the saddle obviously it's the same with all the tech ingrams you need to know the ingram before you can actually mess around with and it is crafted in the tech replicator now all the saddles are being somewhat expensive i'm hoping as this is for a smaller uh, dino it should be slightly less more expensive i really really hope but we'll have to wait to find out so the tech turret which is here this is what it looks like looks really really cool really modern uh, just looks like a normal turret so if I'm got this turret uses element shards as ammunition so you don't need to craft bullets or anything it just it just take everything in the tech tier uses a ton of element now on official service this is going to be super super hard to get a turret has many options the player can choose to set, such as warning time, maximum uh, slash minimum creature target level, Ooh. and excuse and include creature classes. Oh, okay, so these have got some new settings that the current turrets have not got. So it looks like. It looks like you can um, choose like a level of the dino you want. I'm not too sure. Hmm. So you can target. It just says uh, maximum slash minimum creature target level. So to me, that sounds like you can target like really high creatures or really low creatures. Um, not too sure and exclude and include creature classes so does that mean you can target a specific creature like say because um, when when you like let's just say 
let's have a scenario. You try, you raid in a base, and they've got turrets up. Now, the thing to counteract turrets is either you're really fast, or you have a turtle that has got a absolutely ton of health, and you drop it in, and it the turrets only target the turtle, and then you can fly in and do whatever you else need to do. But if this is an actual thing that you can include or exclude creature classes, and I don't know what it means by classes, um, but I'm getting maybe herbivore and omnivore and yeah, carnivore classes maybe. I'm not too sure. But yeah, if it works the way it sh well, I think would be absolutely amazing if you could target only like aggressive dinos, like carnivores, because turtles. They have armor and they soak up all the bullets just to drain your turrets. But if you can set your tech turrets not to target turtles, that would be absolutely amazing. And obviously, it can be crafted in the tech replicator. All the tech stuff can be crafted in the tech replicator. It's just one of those. So, the next thing is the tech grenade. This is the only image I could get because these are really, really small in game. Uh, grenades so that is the best picture I could possibly get I'm sorry but the information we've got when tossed out of target this gr grenade can stick to the target and will explode after five seconds and obviously you must know that Ingram in order to use the tech stuff and it can be crafted in the attack replicator so I did mention this in a previous video that when you toss the grenade it acts like a sticky grenade it will stick to the your target and then after 5 seconds uh, it will blow up. So you have a 5 second delay so if you're up close to someone or something and you throw it you got 5 seconds to get away out of the blast radius before it goes off. Uh, really nice it should do more damage than the normal grenades that's it so the last thing that we need to cover is the tech cave and the volcano and the game ascension progress so here we go this is the tech cave image of the inside right there and blah 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 this is just says where it's located which is obviously it's on top of the volcano and these are the creatures that you can find in the, the tech cave. So it's not normal cave creatures. So you've got Giganotosaurus, you've got T-Rex, you've got Pavlovas, Terrabers, Allosaurs, Caprisuchus, uh, Therodinos, uh, Barry Onyx, Microraptor, Damatapodon, Dillos, Alpha Carnos, Oplora, and Megalocera. No. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, the, it's not normal dinos. The not well, not normal cave dinos. These are all like the aggressive type of dinos that can. Uh, if you find out in the wild, they can like kill you. But yeah, uh, hmm. that's a lot of creatures that can. Think the dangers are lava pits, obviously. <laughs> So down here we have got some pictures which I will show you very briefly if I can get big enough. This is going to be the entrance to the tech cave. This thing right here is where you got to pour all your trophies in just like the normal obelisk and then it will open up the door and you can go in. Really nice, really cool. So we'll take, this is the inside of it. It's not very a good picture but yeah. You can hardly see anything but there you go. And this is the tech boss entrance. Let's open this. So this is a thing. This is the end game thing completely. So there is a walkway that goes from down here, goes all the way up. Then you have another like obelisk control console that you have to like press enter or whatever you press on it to activate it and then it does work like a boss arena you do get like some kind of thing that goes around you and then you ascend but at the moment there there isn't any final boss 
there isn't any like final cutscene or anything. You just ascend and your character gets reset and you go start over. Like, well, that's about it. So yeah, really nice pictures, really very detailed. That is the cave. Which is going to be really hard. Let's get on to some information. So, blah, blah. Tech Cave and Volcano. The Alpha, Beta, and Gamma trophies for three bosses Dragon, Megapificus, and the Broodmother, in addition to all Alpha items, are required to open the cave entrance. The trophies are rewarded by defeating the Alphas Hard, Beta, Medium, and Gamma, which is easy level bosses. So that's what it means by red, orange, and green. Beta, uh, alpha, beta, gamma. Quite easy. Choose one of these three difficulties based on the trophies. For example, the gr the three gamma level uh, boss trophies will allow you to enter the tech cave at gamma, which is easy difficulty. Up to 10 players and 50 creatures can enter the cave at one any at one time. No tames can leave the cave once they have entered. That is going to be a big thing. If you're taking your super OP dinos, either make sure you've got a backup OP dino or before you go and do this tech stuff, make sure you've got a clone of your dinos because once you take dinos into the tech cave, they will not be able to come back out. That means they'll probably die in there. So yeah, the cave is designed to be the end game content and is very difficult to, to complete. Only the most advanced survivors should attempt this. The volcano itself has been redesigned with flowing lava and extreme temperatures. So tech tier armor is advised for all this. So we got ascension game uh, game progress by defeating the cave at the alpha, beta, and gamma level. You will be rewarded additional player levels up to fifteen. The ascension level uh, indicate uh, is indicated on your implant. So once you go on your implant, it will tell you basically um, which ascension have you done, gamma, beta, or alpha, and it tell you how many plus levels you got. This is not quite complete. Final form of the ascension, yeah. So like I said, it's not complete. They haven't got the final thing. Uh, but there are different trophies now for everything and they have added an alpha megalodon so we got these I think these are all the trophies I'm not sure sure but look we got the alpha raptor claw the alpha carno arm the alpha t-rex tooth the alpha megalodon fin the alpha mosasaur tooth the alpha squid eye and the alpha leads Blubber. You need to kill all these alphas and get all these trophies before you can try and even attempt the tech cave. So yeah, that is all the information on the tech stuff and the tech cave and the volcano and the ascension mode. So that is going to be it, mortals. So. If you like the video, don't forget to show that like button who is boss by punching it in the face. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And as always, mortals, don't forget to share it with your family and your friends and around the world. That is it. I am Mortal T and I am out.